Donald Trump's open case at the FBI. As reported in the New York Times, the FBI's open investigation into whether or not Donald Trump was working uh, due to compromise for the Russian government. I just heard Frank Figliuzzi, the former director of the counterintelligence arm of the FBI, on Rachel Maddow. And the reason I was prompted to make this video is I want to just distill what he said. Often we can't see the forest for the trees, and for good reason, there's a lot of forest around us. We're inundated with news. So the takeaway, which every American needs to consider, especially those who support Donald Trump, is this. Frank Figliuzzi, former counterintelligence director of the FBI, emphasized and re-emphasized to the stand-in journalist at Rachel Maddow that when the public hears about the FBI opening a case into whether or not Donald Trump was working for the Russians, it needs to be taken into account that this is the tip of the iceberg. In other words, the FBI is not going to release information to a news source in any way, shape, or form that is spurious. So when you hear something, it's because there's a mountain of corroborating evidence underneath it. So what he's saying is that when the deep state issue is brought up, because that's what the Trump supporters are likely going to do, they're going to say this is the deep state, this is the FBI and the intelligence community run amok. When they do that, they need to understand that it isn't one spurious accusation that comes from a few loose ends. And this is also a statement about the New York Times and major journalism. Whether or not you want to call them failing or fake news, they have a system. And they don't release a story unless they have a mountain of corroborating information that could be considered evidence below it. So what Frank Figliuzzi of the FBI was saying is, I'm 25 years in the business. I know what intelligence looks like. And when we have multiple pieces of intelligence on multiple dovetailing aspects of a story, that's what allows us to consider opening a case. They don't hear one or two things. For instance, something about a compromising tape that could be in someone's possession about Donald Trump in a hotel in Russia. They don't hear just that he fired Comey, and then they hear the statement that he did this to reduce pressure on himself about Russia, which could be taken to mean that it's, it is a fake story, and he wanted to put the story to bed. <clears throat> Anything that you can loosely dismiss and you can say that's proof that there's a deep state and the FBI has been running amok, you have to realize that that is not all that there is. There's a giant paper trail. There's a giant amount of information, a huge amount of information, which has caused the FBI to say, okay, green light the investigation. The best way I can think of it from the sentiments that I heard from Frank Figliuzzi is to associate or relate this to what happens in mission control before a rocket takes off or before translunar injection on the way to the moon or before an EVA. The mission controllers, of which there are many different types, under the direction of the flight director, they all call out to the flight director that each aspect of the spaceship, the environment controls, the consumables, and the astronaut's status and the spaceship trajectory are all go. You've heard this before. FIDO, go. Flight, go. Ecom, go. Telmu, go. Right? So the FBI does the same thing. They have a checklist, like a pilot in an airplane after pushback or at the runway start. They check off each thing and they say, is this a story or is this not a story? Is this investigation worthy or is it not? So all of you Trump supporters out there, even the good natured ones, who want to say, well, I'm an empirical person and I'm a fair-minded person and I don't buy these allegations, you need to realize before the FBI opens a case, it's like NASA before a launch. They have a long list of go, no-go decision-making to do. And when they open up an investigation, it's because there's a smoking gun there. So get ready, America. We're going to find out some pretty bad things about our president, and it probably means we should impeach him if not for everything else that he's done, which is unpresidential. Thank you and have a great day.